Fox 66 News is your local election headquarters. The May primary election will be here before you know it. And candidates from all over Erie County have been working to get enough petition signatures to get their names on the primary ballot. Matt Mathias spoke with local political leaders about what to expect during the primary and how petitioning has been going so far. Matt. Jen, the director of elections here in Erie County says that they've received about 70 nomination petitions at this point, but they expect that number to double by Tuesday of next week. Republicans and Democrats have been hard at work organizing candidates to run for opening positions all throughout Erie County in the spring primary. People think about elections when there's a presidential election. The in-between elections, they just have a tendency to say, well, that's not important. This is where the, the rubber meets the road. If you don't like uh, the way your roads, your roads are paved, if you don't like the way your schools run, if you don't like the way, uh, you know, your, your tax bill, uh, where you live, um, those are all things that get addressed in these elections. Everything from school board members, district judges, city council, and county council representatives, and more are on the table this May. Well, so far, we've, we've received around 70 nomination petitions, so we're expecting around 120 to 150. Both party leaders in Erie County agree that the most talked about race is likely to be for Erie County Council. There's a lot of interest in the county council races that are going on. Uh, county uh, government seems to be a, a bit of a mess right now, and people are interested in seeing that stabilized. There are four seats available. Republicans Ellen Showerman and Brian Shank are running for re-election in District 7 and 5, along with Democrats Ed Scatella and Mary Rennie looking for another term in Districts 1 and 3. Along with local elections, several important positions will be determined on a state level, those being in the appellate courts. And those are very important courts because if you really look at what's take places in the state, it all goes to the courts and how the courts rule is how oftentimes laws are overturned or laws are interpreted or whatever it may be. Now those nomination petitions are required to be placed on the ballot and those are due by Tuesday, March 7th. Jen. All right, Matt Mathias live in our control room. Thank you, Matt.